I decided to go ahead and do a video of the edge coating because you don't see very many videos out there about that, especially on bags or wallets. So I'm just going to do a quick video introduction and just show you one step of each of the coats. So the first coat I use is the um, Giovanni Dense Base Coat. I will do two coats of that, let it dry in between. Then I'm going to use black today, so I'll use the black. Two coats of that, let it dry in between. And then I'll do the uh, top coat, the gloss top coat. Just one coat of that, typically one coat. I always wait and see to determine for sure, but one coat of that and let that completely dry. This is the kit that I have. This is from the Buckle Guy, uh, buckleguy.com. It's a good starter kit. And if you don't have the colors that you need, you can always mix colors to get the color that you really want. So that's what I use. And then I use the, um, it's kind of dirty, but I use the uh, edge paint applicator. This thing swivels and it's just extremely easy to use. So I'm gonna do the base coat real quick and I'll get stuck, sorry. Ugh. And uh, I always have a little rag close by in case I have spill. All right, so here's our wallet. This is the first, let me turn you this way just a little. I have to have it pretty close to me so I can see what I'm doing. All right, let's put the camera up here and the light. So this is just, again, the dense base coat. So you grab some, oops, you can't even see what I'm doing, can you? And then you're just painting the edges. All the way around. And these two coats, I try and do them fairly thick because it fills in all those little uh, crevices. The other nice thing about the Giovanni is it's water. Um, you can wash it off your hands with just soap and water. It comes right off. The, these two coats, there's not uh, anything fancy to them. I, I'm very careful when I do the black, and I'll show you. Um, I'll do two coats of this, and then I'll come back and do the black top coat, one of those, so you can see that. Some people uh, do the edge coating before they sew the pieces together. Uh, that's entirely uh, feasible. I just, I typically, I've not done that and I'm not sure that it's really necessary. But uh, there's no reason that you couldn't do it that way. So, uh, almost done with that first coat. All right. So then what I will do is um, there are little spots here where I got it on the cork. So I'll just go along and wipe that off either with my rag or my fingers because it washes right off. You just don't want any extra anywhere that... Uh, will show when it's all done. All 
All right, that looks pretty good. So it doesn't look like much right now, but that is the first dense base coat. So this coat actually dries pretty quickly. I usually give it about 30 minutes. <clears throat> and then I will go ahead and do the next base coat and I'll come back and do the video of the first black color coat. All right, see you in a bit. Hi, so I'm back. The uh, dense base coat has dried. I did two coats and now we are going to do the black. Um, I decided to go with black. Um, Top coat. Oops, let me turn my, uh, let's turn my light on so I can see. Sorry. So I just, uh, I had, you can leave this raw edge. Some people do. Some people actually like the raw edge. I just think, uh, it, it really makes a difference as far as the professional look of it. I'm gonna get over here so I can see. Um, to have it edge coated. And it really, I mean, when you think about the time it takes, it's really drying time. It's not actual doing time. So it's just going back and forth and leaving it alone to dry as opposed to you in the studio um, messing with it constantly. Doesn't take much either. I'll probably use um, black and tan and or pink. I've used purple quite a bit too. Um, the most and I will tell you that some people also sand just very lightly in between coats and I do that occasionally um, the last couple that I've done I don't think really have needed it so I haven't done it like this one I don't really think it needed it I was talking to my husband today, even though this stuff is uh, washes off with soap and water on your hands, it does not wash out of clothes once it dries. At least I haven't found that it has. So um, I would be careful about getting it on your clothes. Like I'm, watch I'm wearing my old Chiefs sweatshirt today because it was a little chilly here in Florida. 72, it's chilly for us. Um, so I'm trying to be really careful not to get it on my favorite Chiefs. We're originally from Kansas City, so I've had this sweatshirt probably for 25 years or more. So I don't want to get anything on it. All right, so let's take a look all the way around. You want to make sure that you don't leave any puddles of paint anywhere. But that you get good coverage. You're going to do a second coat. So if you missed anything uh, just a little, you can catch that on the second coat. I'm getting black on my high ends. I was telling my husband earlier today I need to get some rubber gloves so it doesn't get all over my hands when I do this. He kind of looked at me funny. Said, so, okay. All right, so that is it. I will lay it here to dry. Uh, I probably won't do, um, I don't know. I'll, I'll see how fast it dries, but I'll come back with the top glossy coat. That's what I'm going to do for the top. Um, and then we'll see the final product. Thank you. Bye bye. Good morning. This is the last step in the uh, painting the edge coat on the tall wallet. So I have two coats of base coat, two coats of black, as you can see, and now we're getting ready to put the top glossy coat. 
but you can see how much nicer that looks without raw edges. So let's put that top coat on. It's over here so I can see. And again, this uh, is just a fairly thick layer. Again, it does, this one especially does not need to be perfect, but you don't want to leave any little bits on your cork or vinyl. And you can edge coat vinyl, cork, leather. It's not, it's typically the Giardini is, um, I think, designed for leather, but it works perfectly on cork and uh, vinyl. There aren't a lot of people that do leather because it's so expensive to buy leather. Although cork is not cheap. So the other thing about cork is I'd make I, I would recommend that you make sure you find a good vendor when you're gonna buy cork. Because all corks are not equal. Um, you want to get really good cork, otherwise it'll crack and um, crease and it just won't look good uh, over the short term. Uh, good cork will last a long, long time. So I think I put in my link for this video for uh, the tall wallet where I get my cork, where I've gotten my cork. I've actually gotten it two places and very, they both are very, very good. And that's um, Fabric Funhouse and so many creations in Y.com. Um, both have really good cork. I think actually uh, My Handmade Space, I think that's the name of it, has good cork too. So I have three vendors that I've gotten it from. You know, again, it's it's not cheap. So I very that's why I try and use my scan and cut to cut it out because um, it does a really good job of not wasting cork. All right, let's just clean that up. This dries clear. I'll show you here in a second what it looks like. That's pretty good. So you can see it's kind of a milky substance when you put it on, but it dries completely clear. This coat will probably take a good hour to dry just because there's so many layers on there already. I'm just double checking to make sure I don't have any on my cork. It's not the end of the world if you do, but it just looks neater if you don't. Again, all of these layers, all these, um, coats, you want to make sure there's no puddling. Now again, just like I said in a previous video, there's nothing that's not fixable pretty much. 99% of your boo-boos are uh, fixable, but it's obviously better to do it the right the first time. All right, we will let that dry and then I will come back and I will show you what it looks like finished. I'm getting ready to do the architect wallet lit from, I mean, uh, yeah, architect wallet from uh, Purses by Holly. She uh, graciously consented to let me do her pattern as a tutorial. Um, I honestly will say I either use the architect wallet or the Purse Pal uh, for my everyday wallet. So look for that. It's coming today. Thanks. See you in a bit. Hi again, here is the finished edge coated tall wallet. So there it is. You can see the shiny edge coat. Now you can do matte as well. I prefer the shiny. There it is. It looks so professional. 
There's the inside. There are the edges that are all nicely edge coated. So there you go. Go grab your pattern at sonar.com and uh, do this really lightweight, uh, very versatile wallet. It holds a ton. It's got that zipper pocket on the back. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.